If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is something that dawned upon me last night after creating my first uh, video covering the Age of Triumph teaser we got last night. If you missed that video, you will find it linked in the video description. Okay, so today I want to talk about the two types of raid primary weapons coming from the recreated raids, the Vault of Glass and the Crota's End raid. Now bear with me here. The reason I say two types is because yesterday during the teaser we saw a new kind of fate bringer and the fate bringer we saw looked to have a different color scheme than the one we already know now thinking about it i thought it could be just a new version of the fate bringer but then it dawned upon me that we also saw the standard colored fate bringer at the end of the trailer yesterday also seeing that same standard version of the fate bringer in other trailers for the age of triumph so what is this new gold and silver fate bringer now I've made a concept of how I believe it will look in your inventory which is on screen now. Now it's possible that this Fate Bringer is one of a few things. Here is what I think it could indeed be. With Age of Triumph, will we get new ornaments that can be applied to legendary raid weapons that give them this distinct look? This will be the first we see this instance uh, where ornaments can be applied to legendary weapons. But hey, why not start with Vortal Glass or raid weapons? I mean it makes sense. I think they may have said something about this in the past, but do not quote me on that. Now it could be an exotic version of the Fatebringer, which I've seen many people speculate about. The exotic version having that arc burn, while the standard version which drops does not. The standard one which we see in the end of this Age of Triumph trailer. This in a way kind of makes sense as it would limit our loadout while using this exotic version of the Fatebringer or any other red weapon. But to be honest, I just cannot see that happening. Now another thing it could be is a challenge mode reward. Challenge mode weapon rewards from the Vortal Glass and the Crosses End Raid drop with elemental burns. While if they drop for you when the raid in question is not the featured raid in the weekly ritual, um, then it will not have that elemental burn. It, in my opinion, makes more sense as it limits the amount of elemental primary burn weapons that actually drop. And in my opinion, Bungie and the reason they stopped elemental primaries in year 2 and 3, in bulk from being obtainable, is because they honestly know the effects they have on the game from a PvE standpoint. Combating them in any way so they can limit their usage is how I believe Bungie go about things and will go about things with the Age of Triumph. Now what people might be thinking is, well, when it comes to Crotus End and Vortal Glass for the weekly ritual, it's fine having elemental primaries drop as rewards, but what happens when it's the King's Fall or Wrath of the Machine raids, as they never actually offered elemental primaries to start with, which is true. But yesterday we saw what looked to be the anguish of Dryston shooting arc elemental bullets seen on screen now by the blue coming from the weapon. Now like I said in my video yesterday, this could be a million miles off, but it does kind of make more sense now when you think about it in reference to elemental primaries dropping from challenge mode. But hey, this is just my opinion. But let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. New ornament, challenge mode reward or a new exotic, what do you think? Now last thing I want to cover in this video before we end um, is something I missed from the trailer yesterday, but it was pointed out to me by a pal of mine. We got a brief glimpse of the new Suresh Regine exotic ornament seen on screen now at the bottom of this screenshot and that is it guys that is it for another video hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new around here turn on them notifications if you never want to miss a video and i'll catch you guys on that next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and i Get it right, left in the dark.